Got it. How's the Sentinel? Number 11, moving oh, out. Thanks. Don't waste Not throwing it. away my shot. I won't back What's down. the plan? Don't let up. Now! Take What's that. the plan? Come on. Did that do it? Let's get him! Don't waste any chances. Enemy threat range. Take this. How was that? More targeting this place. How's the sentinel? That work?
just don't let up. This seems pretty rough on you, Fuyuzaka-san. You okay? I'm fine. Everyone else is doing their best, so I can keep going. You need to know when to use your support units. The Guardian types are especially important. They spike the D-Force's threat identification signals. It makes them think it's a high-priority target. They can draw attention away from us as a decoy unit. That can distract the enemy away from us and the terminals. The EMP equipment on the first gens can get us some breathing room too. Though it tends to draw their attention instead of diverting it. It can be a risky move. A true soldier faces his foes head on with pride. I couldn't ask a better chance at glory.
cool. So me and Karabe-kun, probably Fuyusaka too, the dreams we're seeing are actual events from the past. And it turns out this place is actually isolated? <sighs> and how do you know all this? Oh, you know, just the pop star Miyuki Inaba talking through my TV. Who the heck do I even talk to about this? If I just tell the truth, they'll throw me in a loony bin. Miyuki Inaba was right about everything. There was a boundary. So here we are, in 30 kilometers of city. And beyond that, nothing. Wish I could pretend it was all a dream. My own private little adventure with Yuki-chan. Back in my dream, he called himself Tetsuya Ida. In my dream, her soul was in an android body. The way Miyuki Inaba tells it, those dreams weren't from the future like I thought they were. She was right. We found that weird barrier on the edge of town. Maybe I should listen to her more carefully. I just wanted a nice first date with Yuki-chan. So much for that. Now I've got myself wrapped up in some huge conspiracy. Used to be I'd just daydream about girls for a while and perk right up. Something tells me that's not really gonna work here. Mm -hmm. Tomiki Saragi isn't here. Well, probably for the best, actually. Bumping into her now would be super awkward. Kurabe-kun. Amikuchi-kun. Hey, you going home? Perfect timing. See, um, about that video. Sorry. I'm kind of in a hurry. Oh, uh, it's cool. <sighs> huh? Oh, nothing. See ya. Parabe-kun. Seems like something's up with him. Maybe he's figured something out too? Hmm. Yuki-chan? Nope, not here. Well, she is occupied. Detention is a cruel mistress. <sighs> Maybe I need some fresh air. Just go public. Lay everything out in the open. I guess I could record Miyuki Inaba talking to me? Send that tape out to TV stations. What's got you so spaced out? Amiguchi. Uh, just got shit on my mind. What about you? You look like hell. Something weighing you down? Yeah. You could say that. Hey, uh... Remember when I skipped school for a few days? What about it? Yeah, uh... I actually spent those days stranded in another time. Stuck in the future. Huh. Well... Me, I'd go with a more plausible excuse for ditching. Yeah, that's about what I figured. So, what's going on with you? Huh? Oh. You know that pop star, Miyuki Inaba? She's been showing up in my room every night. I don't know what to do. Well, if you're gonna make me feel stupid for asking. Yeah, that's about what I figured. Oh, 
I totally forgot. What's up? Yakushiji-san from Class 1C. She said she wanted to talk to me today. Said she'd find me up here. <sighs> this shit again? Sheesh. Sometimes you're real annoying to be friends with. I'll just get out of your way then. Again? Oh, just stuff from middle school. Girls used to confess their love to me in front of him all the time. Oh, oh wow, is that what this is about? I'm sorry, really, I... I I've got feelings for someone else. That's not what I came here to tell you. Oh, sorry, awkward. So, what do you need? No <gasps> need to apologize. This might hurt a little anyway. <gasps> Mission accomplished. Sentinel number 20, transmitting. <gasps> Launch point looks to be Yaimachi. Close to Sakura High School. There's no mistaking it. It's a sentinel. Notify all ministries and agencies, and the US military. Tell them no scrambles. Showa era weapons won't do much against a sentinel. We don't know who's on it or what their intent is. And call in Ryoko Shinonome. Still ascending. What's it trying to do? That sentinel. I believe that's the last aerial lightweight craft designed by Okino. I thought it never even entered production. Who is that? Like I keep saying, we gotta be soulmates. Good timing, too. Kinda hoped I'd see you one more time before I died. 
You're seriously still talking this crap, even now? Is that thing yours? Sentinel number 20, transmitting. It's gone. I'm just glad I didn't crash somewhere with people. You gotta tell me what happened. We'll take over from here. Of all possible pilots, I never have expected you. Shu Amiguchi. Four eyes. We're agents with the government. Allow me to be direct. Cooperate with us and I can guarantee your safety. If not, you will be institutionalized. You know something? I really, really hate being talked down to. Especially from guys like you. Easy, Amiguchi. Yuki-chan, you know this guy? <sighs> she is a member of our organization. What? You were part of her assignment. She was sent to monitor pilots like you. That's why she was transferred to Sakura High School. <laughs> no way! Tell me he's kidding. Amiguchi, I... Uh. I suggest you cooperate, Shu Amiguchi. For Takamiya's sake, if nothing else. Sure. Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading this. Don't you want to go to Aniguchi-kun's place? You didn't bring it up today. Well, I beat the game, so... Now we can hang out, you and me. Where do you want to go? So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. It's so hard to believe. But if it's true, that would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. I tried asking her about that talk she had on the stairs. But she just dodged the question. She had a sad look on her face. In my dream, a woman and I went back in time to prevent the extinction of humanity. To do that, we had to blow up some sort of research facility. Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house. 
and then brought over Miracoon out of nowhere. That dream was awful. I was going around killing students. I shot so many. Like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. If that was a real memory, does that mean I actually did all that? Visitor from another world. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Come to think of it, I saw Shiba-kun in a dream the other day. A pretty creepy one. Something about an android. Let's go! Want to go to Amiguchi's as usual? I'm fine with whatever. Do you think that one video is still available for rent? Probably. Want to go check? Okay, cool. Don't forget your bag. Hopefully no one's checked it out yet. <sighs> We're out of luck, man. Video store's closed. By the looks of it, I don't think it'll be reopening anytime soon. The windows were completely shattered. It must have been part of that big gas explosion. Oh, I saw that on TV. That was our video store? There was a gas leak in the shopping district. The explosion damaged buildings and shattered windows. I heard about it on the 7 a.m. news. So what do we do? Just go home disappointed? You don't have much of a choice. Oh, Mirakun. What are you doing here? I followed you after school. Is... something wrong? Tell me the truth, please. <sighs> you don't need to play innocent. You are a Sentinel pilot. How did you activate it? Sentinel? What is that? Are you telling me you've forgotten? It just happened the other day, right here. Uh... What happened? You mean the gas explosion? I heard about it, but... That wasn't a gas explosion. It was you. You transmitted your sentinel right over there. Transmitted? You talking about movies? I think I saw that one. Oh, yeah. Now that you mention it. That did happen in one of the tapes you let me borrow. Jurokun. Who are you talking to? Ah, that's right. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is one of my classmates. His name is Kyuta Shiba. Where is he? What? Shiba-kun? He's right next to us. Sorry, but... It's just you and me here. <laughs> Come on, Mira-kun. Wait. I think this has happened before. <sighs> so, did you check out that video I lent you? Yep. 
Watch the whole thing. I forgot to bring the tape back, though. No rush, man. But you gotta tell me what you thought. Well, in the end, the criminal took over the main guy's body. So I guess he ended up becoming a criminal himself. Not sure how to feel about it. I think it's pretty controversial. Oh, yeah? I thought the ending was awesome. Hey, um... Why do you keep talking to yourself? Is everything okay? I'm not talking to myself. Then who are you talking to? Come to think of it, I saw Shiba-kun in it. I was talking to Shiba-kun. Shiba? Who the heck is that? You know, Kyuta Shiba. Our classmate? There's no one with that name in our class. Huh? Hmm. Hey, Karabi-kun? I know. The papers, right? I'll get them later. Listen. Kisaragi-san's acting strange. She's saying there's no one named Shiba-kun in our class. Shiba? Um... Who? He's standing right there. Um... Karabi-kun... There's no one named Shiba here. <sighs> Are you okay? Say something, Shiba-kun. They're being so mean. Is this some kind of prank, or are you talking to ghosts? Either way, it's not funny. Me? A ghost? These girls need a better sense of humor. Let's go. Shiba-kun. What's your deal? Let's get going already. Hey, um... We grew up together, right? Well, yeah. We've been best buds since grade school. What's gotten into you? Something's just not right. You're taking their joke way too seriously. It is strange, though. It's odd. When I think about grade school, I don't remember him at all. I can't remember any times in middle school either. It's odd. Shiba-kun? You said you've been with me all this time, but... I can't seem to remember the details. I don't have any memories of our time together. Why do you think that is? <sighs> I should have known you'd figure it out. What do you mean? Guess I overdid it with the mind hacking lately. <clears throat> Let's not overthink this, okay? Here, take this tape with you. It's your next set of memories. Go home and watch it carefully. Okay. Wait! Calm down. I remember now. He's... Shibakun is... <gasps> I'm the only one who can see him. Well, I can't be letting anyone else in on our little secret. I gotta get my shit together. When I'm not careful. I blow my cover. Who are you? Artificial Personality, 48Q. Codename QTA CBA. In other words, Qta Shiba. I know, it's a bit of a stretch. But I had to come up with something that suited you. You get along well with this kind of guy, right? Qta? There's no use running. It's too late for that. 
I've already filled your head with transplanted memories. They're running all around in there, aren't they? Oh, but don't worry. Leave things to me and you'll be just fine. Transplanted memories? Yep. Mine. Calm yourself. There's no one here. But he's right there in front of me. You would have been better off not knowing any of this. What a shame. So those movies were... Shiba Kun's memories. Shiba's? No. My real name is Juro Izumi. You're not gonna remember this anyway. So chill out. Unless you want to look like a crazy person. All right, my friend. I've got a new video for you. Just forget about the world for a bit. And watch this. You're gonna love it. It'll wipe your mind clean as a whistle. No. Stop! Jiro-kun! Hey, Juro. Let's go home. Shiba-kun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. It seems his goal is to turn me back into Juro Izumi. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories... I tried asking her about that talk she had on the stairs. In my dream, Minami-san suddenly showed up at my house. That dream was awful. Uyusaka-san and I were the only ones who made it. We escaped to Sumire Bridge 16 years into the past. These must be Shiba-kun's memories. Or rather, the other Juro Izumi's. Place again? Pretty much, yeah. See ya. Bye. <laughs> I guess it's about that time. <clears throat> what? Why the long face? 
Have another nightmare or something? Knock it off. I'm not stupid. I know I'm the only one who can see you. So it wasn't fully wiped. Damn. I guess mind hacking has its limits. What exactly are you? 48Q. QTA, CBA. I already told you, I'm an artificial personality. That doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Then why don't you watch this video and relax? I'm not watching it. Why did you do this? Why did you give me Juro Izumi's memories? Are you trying to turn me back into him? Don't worry about it. You were never meant to be this way in the first place. You know... We can't have you causing a scene here. Your memory needs to be wiped clean. Let me try one more time. Hey, watch it! She's not here. Are you looking for someone, Ogata-kun? Yo, yeah, Kurabe. Sure am. Tell me Kisaragi. Got a clue where she went? Uh, can't expect you to know. Is she really on my side? She wants to change me back into Juro Izumi. Can I trust her? No. Running won't change a thing. Think, think. Who might know something about this? Fuyasaka-san's absent. What about Yakushiji? Shiba-kun's not actually human. And not only that, he's been manipulating my memories. I wish this was all just a dream. Fuyasaka-san's out today. But I feel like... she might know something about all this. Maybe I could ask Amiguchi-kun. On the other hand, it's getting late. He's probably gone home already. Shinonome-senpai. She knows about Juro Izumi for sure. I should go talk to her. Hopefully she's at the nurse's office. I need to go to the nurse's office. It's the other way. Senpai, please wake up. <sighs> Izumi kun. No, don't you remember? I'm Juro Kurabe. Kurabe. Please help me. Shibakun. He's been messing with my memories and replacing them with Juro Izumi's. Izumi-kun's? That's odd. 
According to Morimura, his memories were lost for good. Miss Morimura? Our teacher? What does she have to do with this? I'm talking about Shiba-kun. Who is Shiba-kun? Q Tashiba. He called himself Personality 48Q. I'm the only one who can see him. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't know anything about that. Am I... going to disappear? Well... If Izumi-kun's memories were transplanted into you... Does that mean you know about his past? I saw it all in the form of dreams and movies. What happened in them? What memories do you have of his? What were your dreams like? In order to prevent the apocalypse, Fuyasaka-san and I went back to the past. We bombed the facility that was said to be the source of it all. But the police caught us, and we ended up in a shootout. With Iori Fuyusaka? This is all news to me. The city was in ruins. I went around killing students, one by one. I wouldn't let any of them get away. Among the dead, I saw people I knew. Like Fuyusaka-san and Yakushiji. Izumi-kun did that? It can't be. There's no way he would do such a thing. Visitor from another world. I forgot to mention. Shibakun gives me memories on videotape. Videotape? Fuyasaka-san told me they're all real events from the future. Like what? If I recall correctly, we were in a big UFO. indicated shutdown sometime in the Heisei era, but at the time I visited, was right there in Tsutsuji Ward. So Sector 4 is in 1985, and Sector 3 is in 2025. That's another 40-year gap. This machine only lets us travel to specific time periods, all of which are under attack by the invaders. Why are they showing up in the past? <sighs> I have no idea. What do you think, Sukasa-kun? We have no record of such an invasion occurring back then. If that's the case, it's inconsistent with history as we know it. You're right. It was just last year that we were invaded. The year 2104. That was the first and only time. If there were a kaiju attack prior to that, we would have known about it. We must be dealing with a time paradox. Maybe something weird happened when they arrived. It could have caused reality to split into parallel universes. We know that kaiju technology allows for time travel. It's not hard to believe that would impact the future in some way. Hold on. While this device does appear to be a time machine, it may be premature to make such assumptions. <laughs> An earthquake. A big one. Something feels weird about it. This is bad. 
What's wrong? The countdown. It's reached zero. Don't tell me. The shaking is... It's time. Look at this! <laughs> We're rapidly losing contact with zones of the UFO. The very Earth's crust is crumbling. This is an unprecedented disaster. Several areas now report an elevation of below sea level. Is it sinking into the ocean? At this rate, we'll be going down too. So this is what the countdown was for. It may not be possible to survive this. We have no choice. We must seek refuge in the past. What? Get in the transmitter. Are you serious? If we do that, we might not ever come back. And if we stay here, we die. This will need a timer. When it's all set, I'll join you. Please, get to the device. All right. If you're setting our destination coordinates, let me suggest Sumire Bridge. Amidst the destruction I saw earlier, that bridge was still standing. You heard him. Let's get in. Okinokun! Is something wrong? It's not letting me select any sectors. I don't understand. My commands aren't working. I need to find a time it'll let us travel to. Stay in the device. Just hurry, okay? I've got it. Sector Zero. I don't know what year that is, but it's the only destination we can access right now. takasa -kun. Get over here, now! I can't. It's not letting me set a timer. I'll need to operate it manually. Go on without me. takasa -kun! Chihiro. I saw the signs in town. We're in 2089 now. We traveled 16 years back in time. I see. So that's why. Look over there. Across the river. It hasn't been redeveloped yet. No wonder Century Tower isn't there. It wasn't built until 2100. It'll be over 10 years from now before it goes up again. There's no point in waiting any longer. Let's go. sukasa -kun isn't coming back. Look. Even the Shikishima State Building is missing. We have to go. Do you plan on standing here forever? We can't just leave him! You agree with me, right? In this era, you and I are still newborns. Even your own mother wouldn't recognize you. Our citizen ID won't be valid here either. We can't purchase anything or use public services. The city may look familiar, but this is the world of 16 years ago. To us, it might as well be a foreign country. But we can't go back. We have no choice but to figure something out. What are we going to do? The invasion's going to happen again in 15 years. We need to warn everyone about it. Will they even believe us? All we can do is try. And if they don't... <sighs> we'll take matters into our own hands. No one else knows what's coming. 
It has to be us. Let's figure out how to get back to the UFO. It should still be buried underground. If we can find it, then... I get it now. We can save Okinokun. All we need to do is travel through time again. I can't say it's impossible. But if we're ever going to do that, we need to make it through today. Let's find ourselves some food and a place to sleep. You're right. Shall we? From there, the two of us spent the next few years together, living in society's shadows. Huh. That guy in my dream, he called himself Tsukasa Okino. I feel like we've met somewhere before. Stay away from me. <sighs> that incident you just described, it's not one of your lost memories. If it involved rewinding time 16 years with Morimura, then it must have been him. Who? He's a time traveler. He's gone back in time over and over again. A time traveler? That's crazy. The memories you've been seeing are his. But his name is Juro Izumi. Does that mean he's me from the future? No, it's a different Juro Izumi. One who came from a lost world. Stay back. I was told he's incredibly dangerous. So that means... My dreams are memories of a lost world? And Shibakun... Is that world's Juro Izumi? That man has nothing but his consciousness left. He transferred himself into an android and fled. His... consciousness? <laughs> Oh my. Looks like Senpai isn't feeling so good. Shibakun! Man, you've sure got a big mouth. Stop this! Oh, come on! Ryoko Shinonome is a freaking weirdo. If you really want to take her word for it, you'll have to face the consequences. Thank you. 